next one. 2012 championship in first place with a time of 25 minutes 16 seconds and 5 tenths from Temple University Travis Mahoney Congratulations Travis Yeah I mean uh, I thought it was going to be a little more uh, of a push for earlier uh, everyone kind of stay relaxed and you know the Philly guys was me and the LaSalle kid we kind of both know the course it just trying to stay as relaxed as you can while you're running this course, you know, uphills and stuff, and just use the downhills and the flats, and stay relaxed, and we, we started making a push at, um, I guess about three miles in, we started to open up a little bit of a gap, and we started pushing me, so I figured he was going to try getting me there, and uh, I felt really smooth today, and it kind of just everything pulled in together, and uh, at the top of the hill, I stayed on top of him, and then that's the side to make my make my move, and I'm a little longer stride than he has, so it kind of played to my advantage of moving at that spot with the downhill the downhill and uh, you know just kind of got excited and just used that through to finish and uh, you know it was awesome to cap my my last eight times conference with the win so it meant a lot it meant a, it meant a real lot where does this rank among the races you've had in your life I mean it, it ranks up there I mean it's it's just like that you know I came back for fifth year and like just you know it with cross country there's so many guys that are, are so competitive and just to come out here and actually put it together and go out my last year at a 10 to come out with a win is you know it's it ranks high it's, it's big it was really big for me is it nice to be able to do it at you know your practice course or home yeah course? yeah definitely i mean it, it was it was even awesome like going into the woods when we kind of had separated it was me and him and it's the silent temple so it was really cool because you know we're both you know philly schools and uh, you know just coming out here we hosting our like the first we're hosting the meet and putting it together and it just was it was awesome you know people come out here and watch us and uh, put it together for everyone that came out and get the win it was was nice and you know we did well as a team we took we took fifth and we were we were we were six points away from being second so you know it was great great showing we all had we all pulled it together and ran well one last question for you um looking forward to the next few weeks what are you looking to achieve you know, at regionals and well i want to go into regionals and try to do the same thing i want to try to stay relaxed stay up with the pack and if i can go for the win so and my ultimate goal is making the nationals and and you know, just giving my best shot there in my last race of, in a Temple Singh at my last college race. So just, you know, kind of enjoying this now. So it's, it's, it's real nice. It's, it's awesome. Okay, great. Thanks a lot. Really good deal for the program and the team. Yeah, no, I mean, he, he, we had a plan. Like we've, I've told you every week, we always have a plan. And the plan was to go through 5K and to follow either Spizak from Duquesne or Santana from LaSalle. We knew those two guys were two of the top guys in the conference. And uh, Trav and I had talked about uh, once we get back into the second loop, back in the woods, if he's there, they can't they can't beat him. And so that's what I was kind of feeding him that confidence. And obviously, he had to go out and do it. is a, a different thing, but the unbelievable, unbelievable job. It just shows how talented he is, and, and the, the kid puts in a lot of hard work. And you see it out here on the course; it's evident how good he is. Talk about how the team did today as a whole. You know, obviously Travis was a standout, but Colin did well. Will Keller. Yeah, no, the team the team overall did an outstanding job. Those guys, you know, we talked, we were actually talking all week about how if we could score 100 points, I think we could be fourth place is what I was projecting just off of years past. And so we talked about that, and I was like, listen, if Travis can win or he can be second or third, and then if Colin can be here, and if Will can do this, if Matt can do that, and then Steve, if you can, if you can be in this area, we'll be close to 100 points, and we'll get our team goal. And... Today, those guys, to be honest with you, went above expectations. I know Cohen's a little upset with his performance, but the kid was like 70th place last year in this race, and to finish 17th is a, is a monster improvement. Um, just a sophomore, too. Yeah, and just being a sophomore. So, and, you know, we, we scored 127 points, 
LaSalle was third with 122, and St. George was second with 121. So we are six points out of second place. In the grand scheme of things, that is very small in cross country. So in my opinion, this is a very good team, and the guys have, have come to life here, especially in the past couple of weeks. And so that's very exciting to see, and I think we probably surprised a few people in the conference today with the way that they ran. Talk a little bit about the women's team. Obviously, you know, there's room for improvement, 14th out of 16th, but Jenna did a really nice job there with 25th place, I think. Yeah, yeah, no, she was 25th overall, and, and same with Jenna, uh, like the Cullen. She was 55th or 54th last year, so she doubled, and she cut her place in half. And Anna Pavone was 80-something last year, and she was 40th today. And so, it, you know, it's those little battles that we got to win, and, and the men's team is a little deeper than the women's team. And so it shows in the team results, and, and that's that's you know what I'm working on with recruiting and things like that. But to be honest with you, all the girls are getting better. They're running faster, and, and they're placing better in meets. And you know, it's just the men seems a little ahead of where they're at right now. But I, I'm still very proud of the way the women competed and performed. And they they know that getting 14th place in the meet is is not what we want. It's not really acceptable. And they're willing to work hard. And that's and that's the most important thing is that they can be happy with their performances, but not satisfied. With, with the results. One last question for you. How, sure. how nice was it being here at your practice course? You know, uh, I, I felt like we had a pretty big advantage, to be honest with you. Um, we did a lot of workouts out here this year. We ran a lot of these loops that we knew the course was going to involve. Um, we tried to stay off the hills a decent amount. We used this, this outer loop, this field loop, quite a bit. Um, and I, I would like to think that that helped us quite a bit, knowing knowing the layout of the course, knowing what to expect in the hills compared to some of the other schools who get here for the first time and they've never run up parachute or they've never been back on the nature trail or they've never you know, run up flagpole hill before. Um, so advantage to us, yeah, and we'll, we'll take that every time. Okay.